Hello, my name's Tom Palmer and I am a children's author and your teachers have asked me to read a short bit out of one of my books um, to mark World Book Day. So I thought I'd choose something from After the War, which is a new book which is coming out in May. And After the War is about three boys who are part of 300 children who are refugees at the end of the Second World War and they come to live in England because all their, their orphans, all their families have died in the war. Um, and it's a story about events that happened 75 years ago. And I'll just read you a really short bit from the beginning. Yossi sat stiffly at the end of his bed, his bed, in his room. It had been pitch black when the buses finally pulled off the road into the Calgarth estate. The children could only see the shape of the buildings from the electric lights showing through windows. On arrival, they had been stripped of their clothes and dusted with powder before being sent to have a shower. This was distressing. Yossi remembered how the Germans had disinfected them with powder and taken their clothes and belongings from them when they arrived at the concentration camps. It was hard not to recoil, but he still had his chocolate and was allowed to hold on to his small suitcase and his pilot's hat. Next, they were given a vest, socks and some underpants to wear. Then, they had all been inspected by a doctor. They were led to their bedrooms. The small room had white walls and blue curtains covering a window that looked into complete darkness. All Yossi could see was a round face peering back at him. His own face, he knew, though he didn't recognise himself. When he'd last seen his own reflection properly, he'd been thin-faced, his skin grey in blue and white striped clothing. Not anymore. Now his face had filled out and his hair had grown a little. There was a bed, a wardrobe, and a small bedside chest of drawers, just as Talia had promised. But Yossi had nothing to put in them apart from his spoon and his pilot's hat. There was a bunch of fresh flowers in a vase and a packet of sweets on the chest of drawers. The bed was soft and had blankets and white sheets, again like Talia had promised. Yossi had not seen or slept in sheets for several years. His hand ran over the sheet and he closed his eyes. So that's the story of the, the Yossi, one of the three boys who comes to live in this country. He's not slept in proper beds, he's not had proper food or anything um, for many years. And he's come to this country and he's beginning to be fed, fed properly and... Um, to, to have to have safety and feel secure but it's a difficult story for them because having been through the dark times of the second world war even though they're in a lovely place like that it's very difficult for them and in the end without their families the only the only real family they have is the friends that they've of the other boys that they met during the during the con their time in the concentration camps and it's a story about how even without families they find love and um, friendship and eventually a family of their own amongst amongst those friends Anyway, that's the beginning of After the War. I hope you enjoy um, your World Book Day. Have a brilliant time and um, thanks, for, thanks for listening.